Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with another first today. Yeah, this country is so close to us. I can't believe we've never had anything from here. Yeah. Maybe it's because it's so close. Maybe, but you went to Brittany a few years ago in the car and you didn't even bring anything back. Yeah, but I've got, I've got an excuse. Why? Okay. Both times I thought we'll get them on the last day. So we're not having to carry them around and everywhere. And it's a Sunday. And it's a Sunday and the supermarkets aren't open on Sundays. Nightmare. So but you didn't learn from the first time? Didn't learn from the first time, no. Did I ever learn anything? <laughs> well, I was with Alex this time yeah. and I remember. <laughs> but also it was a Thursday, so. <laughs> yeah. We recently went to Lille in France with DFDS Ferries. Yeah, and while this video isn't sponsored by them, the project we were doing in Lille was sponsored for our TikTok. So if you'd like to go see that and support our content, um, head over to our Instagram. But while we were there, we, we decided thought... let's go shopping. And we were also in the car yeah. because DFDS FDS is a ferry company. Yeah. So we thought might as well bring as much stuff back as we could. Yeah. And we managed to get, we think, four videos worth. Yeah. So roll your sleeves up because you've got four French videos coming. And we went into a massive carry four. It was yes. so huge, wasn't yeah. it? We were in Lille, which is a city. <laughs> yeah. And we were going to go to one there, but then Alex was like, why don't we go to one on the way to the yeah. ferry? Which makes sense because it was so much bigger, wasn't it? And it was it? much quieter. The ones in the city were really good and had really good selection, actually. Yeah. But they were all just really busy. Yeah. All the time. So here's us heading into the carry for. Excited for a little trip to I'm the, the carry for? Yes, you need to go grab our bags. Yeah, got our trolley. I like that the handles are up here. They've got like ergonomic handles. Yeah, it's a really big trolley, don't you think? Yeah, great size trolley. But yeah, we, we're wrapping our Bucky's uh, cool bag because we've got to get these off the ferry. So it's going to be a while. So we can maybe have some chilled items. Now this is like at home in Tesco, Sainsbury's, so and I actually think they're the same brand. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I love visiting different country supermarkets. It's so funny how like this is the norm for so many yeah. people here. Yeah, for us it's so different, different brands. Yeah. I Did love you it. Yeah, your shopping. Yeah. Uh, what's to turn left? Snacks. A gauche. Turn a gauche. Turn a gauche. It's like the cereal. The snack aisle, cereal aisle. I'll look down there. Like seeing what they've got. See a lot of like the same brands like Kellogg's, but like we don't, we've got soft bakes, but they don't look like this. I love how there's like similarities, branding, yeah. but different. Look at these lions. What are these too. Kellogg's Trestor? They look good, don't they? With the chocolate in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the Crunch cereal. That looks nice. Oh, that does look good. And Kit Kat. Kate, they've got Kit Kat cereal. Oh, wow. And also, look, Lion. Triple oh crunch as three different things. That's cool. This is awesome. There's a lot of oh, like and chocolate there's a ones, aren't there? Yeah, there's a lot of chocolate. Nesquik Oreo. Is that basically sugar daddy? Ha! It's confiture. Yeah, the sugar daddy. daddy. Sugar daddy. Daddy. Daddy candy. <laughs> daddy candy. Just looking at this. Oh, that's cool. Because it's like, you could have that as a biscuit tin, couldn't you? Yeah. And you could keep it afterwards, like yeah. those ones you got and from summer. That's what I mean, and like you have this as your biscuit tin, yeah. and that's really nice. I love stuff like that. That was a pretty massive and epic supermarket. Yeah, it was massive. I feel like we have big supermarkets here in the UK, but considering the size of the town we were in mm -hmm. when we got to that supermarket... It was a teeny town. And it was, the supermarket was huge, went on for ages. And we have this in the UK where there are other sections in there, yeah. like... Um, there was a hairdresser. There was a hairdresser's though. We don't usually we don't have do that. that. Wasn't there an opticians or something in Maybe, there? Maybe, I'm saw. not too sure. And just other things. And there was even an upstairs, or was that the car park? I don't More know what park. was upstairs. It kind of looked a bit closed. Unless they had home, home stuff on Maybe. There. But the actual aisles were huge and it went back yeah. so far and one of our favorite aisles was yeah. actually like the snack aisle there was just so much options yeah i mean we could have literally had a year's worth of videos yeah. just from that supermarket there was so much selection like on another level yeah, of different products it was, it was so good yeah. we didn't want to pick too many biscuits but every time we move on they look amazing and alex look at those fruity ones oh, those loo yeah. maybe we need a whole entire biscuit video i think we have to pick up these they look incredible, don't you think, Al? We do get some loo over here, yeah. but not all of these. 
And I do feel like we've had Petit Ecolier But before. I don't remember seeing that little cream no, in the but middle. I think Petit Ecolier is either the just the biscuit or the biscuit with just chocolate on top, not with the milk. Ah. They're teeny. They are quite small, aren't they? They're but teeny they did but say, thick. They did say petit. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I love that. It kind of looks like a stamp. Oh, that looks like so much milky, creamy center, doesn't it? But this Cheers. is so thick. <laughs> wow. Wow, babe. Mm. <laughs> and that's so soft. Mm. The biscuit is perfect. It's so lovely and crisp, isn't it? And crunchy. And then you've got chocolate, which is kind of soft. The chocolate is lovely as well, isn't it? And that creaminess in the center just, it's so good. It's incredible. The biscuit is crunchy, what you want. Mm. And then the top is just like, that milk chocolate hasn't got a snap to it. It's so soft. I feel like you could put it in the fridge if you want more of a snap. But I love if how anything, it just like melts. <laughs> yeah. You can probably put it in the microwave for yeah. five seconds. I might do. I might go as far as saying like, that is the perfect biscuit. And That's I don't exactly even I think I saying. want it white. Because with the creaminess, I think you want that milk chocolate. Yeah, I think the milk center is perfect. I might as go as far as saying that's 12 out of 10 because I think their normal Lou biscuits with the chocolate on top is like a 10 out of 10. Yeah, definitely 12 out of 10. That with a cup that's of tea would be fantastic. And that is one thing we noticed about France. Like we were staying in a hotel and usually the continental breakfast, you kind of don't expect the pastries to be incredible. You mm. just expect them to be a bit like store-bought. Yeah. But I feel like being in France, they got them from a local bakery or yeah, something those each day. morning croissants and the what amazing. warm um, choco pans were so delicious. Like inside the chocolate still melted. And yeah, they might just be the chuck in the oven ones, yeah. but they tasted much better than some of just like the pastries yeah. you get in like a UK continental or warm baguettes. Salted butter, pan au chocolat. When we woke up, you know, the day after, <laughs> yeah. we had to make our own breakfast. I was a bit like, oh, this is yeah. underwhelming. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. What are these? Oh, wow. Is that like a white version? Yeah. You try those as well? Let's do it. Is that like the branded one? Yeah, just oh, a different Oh, look. Brand. we got to get these. The Petit, it's like a hedgehog. Try those? Yep. They look amazing. So what's the brand? Semoy. Semoy Petit, Petit Harrison. You mauve and caramel. caramel. So basically I think you're gonna stretch it Ooh. and it's gonna be like marshmallowy and caramel with like uh, crisp. Like rice crispies. crispies. We definitely had something like this, Al. They're bigger than I thought they were big. Yeah. Oh, they smell amazing. Do you they? remember there was like hardly any of them and like someone had like eaten them all? Oh no, I feel like that was Germany. That was from Marco. I'm pretty oh, sure it was they were like, like little a nibbles. Hearts or something, weren't they? <sighs> Just smell good. Oh, and do how soft that is. Mm. That's good. <laughs> it's not as like thingy as I was expecting. No, I thought it was going to be it's um, more like foamy. Dense. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would be more like stretchy. Yeah. Mm. Whereas it's good though. It's more of a chewy and marshmallow. Mm. That's incredible. That's nice. There's something about crispy things in chocolate. Just anything with chocolate and rice krispies mm. is just good usually. Just such good texture, isn't it? We'll give it to them. The French do have good food. Although the thing I didn't expect was the French to have good snacks. I thought they'd be like all about, yeah. you know, fresh items, but they seem to take their... Um, Snacking to the next level. Yeah, very seriously. So what are you giving that? I'm going to give them an eight out of 10. Yeah, even it might surprise you as well, but I was going to give them like an eight and a half because like they are amazing. But like I was wanting a bit more of that. In some ways, it needs to be a bit more nougaty. Yeah, needs to be it's like, like a I wanted nougat. a bit more chew. Yeah, when you actually bit into them, it almost felt a bit empty. Yeah, and the and chocolate I don't think wasn't really get my that much favorite. No. no, it could have been even better. Yeah. So like an eight and a half, they were still yeah. incredible. It was nice. These petty de fruits that you keep seeing. Oh yes, please. These look so Looks good. So good. Do you think they'll be like those fruit sweets, or do you think these are more like a um, like a like healthier the old Thornton's jelly fruit? Yeah, sweets. they look so good. Pate de fruits. Yum. Yeah. So yum. I think we're gonna have to do multiple videos. I here, think so. It's too good. Scratch the surface. And too good to miss out. All this already. Doing a full shop at this, right? Yeah. Oh, we haven't even touched crisps yet. No, or drinks. 
And this has got like a, a D nutrition. nutrition so score. like Australia, they've got like a Nutri score. And this is from A to E. And these are actually Carry 4 branded. Hmm. There was quite a lot of Carry yeah. 4 branded. Look at that. I love the way their things are opening. Oh. Ooh. Oh, Al, I think these are going to be really good. They look good, don't they? They will lock the door and turn the lights down low. Let's start with Pear. Yeah, in some ways I think Pear would be my least favourite, but mm. quite often the clear sweets in some countries is Pear and it's amazing. How's the texture? Amazing. It's like a cross between being a sweet and actually being fruit. Like a fruit neck. Mmm. Mmm. But sometimes I don't like the fruit snacks when they're chewy. That's no, got like a nice that's bite. That's really to it. nice. Mm. Yeah, that does kind of taste like your bite. That literally a pear. tastes like fresh pear. What does it say? It, is. it says Mure. Mure. And there's a blackberry on the packet, so I'm guessing it's blackberry. Right, it says. Oh, blackberry. That tastes like jam. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> apricot. <laughs> you don't often get like apricot sweets. Well, what was I having? I was wow. having, um, mm. was it peach and apricot yogurt? It was so good. I think that had oh, yeah, pieces of apricot in and it was so delicious. That does taste kind of peachy, doesn't it? Mm. Wow. I think I'm actually going the apricot, yeah. the pear, and then the Yeah. Blackberry. I really like the blackberry, yeah. but there was something so fresh and just and fruity. fruity and light about the pear. Really nice. Yum. I think I've got to give those nine out of 10. Yeah, I think they get nine. Absolutely mm. delicious. And it does say like there's a big percentage of fruit. Like you don't usually see 40%. Well, it's 53%. Find it, yeah, 53% fruit and 40% of it is apple. That's so funny. But so that the happens a lot. Is you know, like in a lot of fruit juices and stuff. Yeah. Even though it might say pear flavour or peach flavour, it's like they use apple as the base. Yeah, and also I suppose like apple's probably cheaper. Yeah, they can fill as, it out. And it's not like too strong that yeah. you can't then overpower you can, like, it with the other flavour. The yeah. I think I want to go for these. Go for it. Le Authentique Petit de son Goumoive. I feel like I did that pretty well. Although I think that's an O. What did I say? Du son. Oh. Or son. Or son Goumoive. Yeah, that's good. Late, a hundred percent Francais. So these look like they've got a bit of a marshmallowy scent. Oh, they're massive. Are they? Oh, oh they're soft. They're little teddy bears. We've had milk chocolate versions of these. I yeah. swear, from America. What's this? A white chocolate marshmallow? marshmallow. I think. Oh, it smells good. It smells like actually white chocolate. You're not matter white. There you go, madam. That's for you. Do you hate it though, or? It's pretty sickly. It's pretty. Because it's after one bite. Yeah, the marshmallow's light and sweet, and then the white chocolate is creamy and sweet. It's all just mm. a bit much for me. That's amazing. A bit like oh. that's like a pillow of heaven. Really? Mm -hmm. You just eat that all day. Mm. If that was from America, it wouldn't be white chocolate. It'd be candy melts. Candy melts. So I feel like that chocolate's lovely and rich mm. and creamy. So that's what's so nice about that is it tastes real chocolate. Yeah. I'm going to save you for Would you later. prefer those or these? Do you know what? They're totally different. In some ways, I would get the two packs and have one from there, one from there, because they would be sickly. Yeah. They are amazing, and mixing with the two, I think, would be really lovely. But I feel like these are just edging above that because the chocolate is nicer on these. So these are going nine. Apart from the fact that I didn't particularly like those, I just wish they had a bit of texture. They do it's, have texture. Or just chewy. the same texture. I wish they had like, I think if they had a bit of rice crispy crunch, they'd be oh, better. Oh, crispy crunch mm. would be nice on that. But there is texture because it's like soft, chewy. Just all Melty. just... Mm, there is not. <laughs> They're about a five. What? Yeah. Well, you're not getting your hands on them I then. don't want my hands on them. <laughs> Keep them as far away from my hands as possible. Keep their name out <laughs> my... <laughs> Keep, Keep their the name out, out your, your mouth. mouth. Oh, look, more Lou there. They look good, Al. Petty, petty lovers, is that? Yeah. Louvers. Oh, we've got to get some of those. Choco Croc Pocket. Definitely get these? Yeah. From here, they look like Maltesers, but I don't think they are. No, I think they're more like Aero. Like a, no, that's definitely like a biscuit inside. Oh, do you think? A crispy biscuit, I think. This is in the snacks section, don't forget. And look, biscuits. But we'll have to wait you and could see. be right. I and feel it like says, it's going to be crunchy. Oh, there's five individual packs. Yeah. That's quite cool. And it's like it was like this on the other one. Yeah. So it says packet plus milk or orange. orange. Oh. How to enjoy oh, it? Oh yeah. Equals a 
Oh. A delicious break. I is think. that like a balanced break? Oh. oh, cool. So there might be five it's individual messy. bags, but there's also multiple in the bag. Yeah, what were you thinking? Just one. I just thought it'd be one heart. When really? it said five individuals, I thought no, it was I like five No, I pictured them like little mini hearts. Maltesers, but they seem bigger than I was expecting. Ooh. I'm oh, out. no, they seem smaller than <laughs> <laughs> I can't work you it don't out. Know what's going on? Do you think they're going to be biscuity? I think they're going to be crunchy biscuity. Oh, okay. Or like a maltiness. We'll Cheers. Mmm, we are right. On that photo, they look like arrow. They're more like cereal. Mmm. Mmm. They kind of taste like I cereal think, we've had. I think we've had something like that, Sweden or somewhere. Mm. It's almost like wafer. Yeah. So, with it being like wafer, yeah. do you love that? I really like that. Considering the chocolate on the Petit Ecole... Was so good. ...was, was Lou... And it was so good. I thought the chocolate on these would be better. Yeah, it's not my favourite. Oh. It looks a lot darker though, and mm. it doesn't like it doesn't melt in your fingers. So I feel like it's not as good quality. I go down a bit too easy though. Yeah, they are good. With like a um a tea or a coffee. Mm. I would pick everything else over this, I think, so far. But I'd that is nice. Probably give it a seven. Yeah. The only thing I wouldn't pick over that is the white chocolate teddy bear things. <laughs> I'd probably only give that a seven as well. But you know what you could do? What? And that's what it tastes like. What? You know, in the morning you have a little pot of yogurt. Yeah. You could put some of those in there. And what uh, it reminds me of is a Muller corner. A Muller. With the, with with the, the choco, choco balls. balls in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Stop, Stop copying, copying me. me. Who are you? Who Kristen, Kristen Wiig. Wiig. You've been watching, watching too, too much TikTok. TikTok. You're a bit, a bit slow. slow. I'm a I'm loser. A loser. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Are you still going to cover me? No. <laughs> okay, and last but not least. This is called Lou Granola. And this is like, um, oh, Noisette. So that's like hazelnut, isn't it? These ones have got dyed. They look really they look good. Incredible. I think we get those ones. And then below some other nutty ones. See, we've never seen these in our shops, have we? Because no. we get some crossover. There's more granolas, but they're different. Oh yeah, they look like digestives in a way. Yeah. Oh, I can smell the damn. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why, but like sometimes like cookies in the bag like this don't excite me, but really? like the M&S ones are incredible, yeah. aren't they? I'd always prefer like a fresh cookie, but these look great. A bit of a funny taste, isn't it? Tastes fake, tastes artificial. I've got to have a bit more. I can't even taste any dime in there, can you? Mm. I don't know if it's the the oats that are making it taste that way. I think it's the granola, it whatever that bit of it is. Tastes weird. That's a shame, because they were one of the things I was most looking forward really? to. Really? And is that why we're doing them last? Yeah. Part of me wanted to pick them earlier on because I didn't think they were going to be my favourite, but I'm now trying to choose like my favourites nearer to the start of the video. Because mm. most of you don't get this far anyway, so... <laughs> If you have made it this far, can you leave a watermelon emoji? It's got nothing to do with this video, so like everyone else will be like, what the heck is going yeah. on with all the watermelons? So I think leave a watermelon emoji. Watermelon sugar. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I was going high there. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit of a shame. I wouldn't pick those up again. And um, this sounds sad, but I'm giving them a four. I'll give them a five. I just don't even understand which part of that is dime. Maybe we'd no. have to have the normal ones to realize, oh yeah, I see what they've done. There's nothing. There's no dime in there. Because dime is hard caramel, isn't yep. it? And um, you just can't You just find don't get any there. of that. No. Right. I don't know what that's about. A five, six, seven. <laughs> Treat of the week. I think my treat of the week this week has to be the one and only Putty Ecole, Ecolier. And I think my treat of the week also has to be the same. They, I mean, they were just so stand out. There's something that doesn't necessarily look like it's going to be that good. It looks no. quite simple. It looks like it's and some for people a might younger think, audience. Yeah, just for kids. But it's absolutely incredible. And I really like the size of it as well because it's not too no. big but it's like enough and it's indulgent enough. You can just pop one in your bag. I think that might be one your of the- Your school bag. <laughs> your school bag. I think that might be one of the best biscuits I've had for a long time. Yeah, definitely. That was fantastic and definitely my treat of the week as because well. Because we had those ones when we were in Spain recently, didn't we? They were like a little biscuit on the bottom with a little milk in the middle and oh, chocolate on top. But they're nice. These have taken that 
It's got like just, a whole hat on. Yeah, and just made it even better, yeah. I think. The filling is so much better. The biscuit more. is better. The size of the filling, yeah. you know, the proportion that is even better. Yeah. If, like us, you enjoy trying treats from around the world, we do have a link down below to our Candy Box website. Yeah, and we've got a load of Christmas stuff in stock now, so it's a great time for you to check out the boxes. Yeah, some of our favourite boxes of the year, so definitely check those out. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.